George wished he wasn't the scruffiest giant in town. So one day, when he sees a new shop selling giant-sized clothes, he decides it's time for a new look. With smart trousers, a smart shirt, strippy tie, and shiny shoes, George is a new giant. But on his way home, he meets various animals who desperately need his help and his clothes. So you're going to read the smartest giant in town. And it's, and it's even the Gruffalo. Yeah, the it's Gruffalo even... by the creator of Gruffalo. Yep. So, George was a giant, the scruffiest giant in town. He always wore the same pants of old brown sandals and the same old patched up gown. I wish I wasn't the scruffiest giant in town, he said sadly. So that's the giant. He does, he's not wearing that much pretty clothes. So let's see. <laughs> so can we see? But one day, George noticed a new shop. It was full of smart clothes, so he bought a smart shirt, a smart pair of trousers, a smart belt, a smart stripy tie, and some smart socks with diamonds up the side, and a pair of smart shiny shoes. Now I'm the smartest giant in town, he said proudly. George left his old clothes behind in the shop. He was about to go home when he heard a sound. On the pavement stood a giraffe, who was sniffing sadly. What's the matter? asked George. It's my neck, said the giraffe. It's so very long and so very cold. I wish I had a warm, warm scarf. So the poor giraffe is sad. Cheer up, said George, and he took off his stripy tie. It didn't match my socks anyway, he said. As he wound it round and round the giraffe's neck, it made a wonderful scarf. Thank you, said the giraffe. Look yep. at the beautiful scarf the giraffe has. I like them, the girl. <laughs> As George strode towards home, he sang to himself, My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. But look up and down, I'm the smartest giant in town. That's what the giants began to say. Yep. George came to the river. On a boat stood a goat, who was bleating loudly. What's the matter? asked George. It's my sail, said the goat. It blew in a storm. I wish I had a strong new sail for my boat. Cheer up, said George, and he took off his new white shirt. It kept coming untucked anyway, he said, as he tied it to the mast of the goat's boat. It made a magnificent sail. Thank you, said the goat. George strode on singing to himself. My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. But look up, look me up and down. I'm the smartest giant in town. Yep, now we on the giraffe. George came to a tiny ruined house. Behind, beside the house stood a white mouse with lots of baby mice. They were all squeaking. What's the matter? asked George. It's our home, squeaked the mother mouse. It's burned down and now we have nowhere to live. I wish we had a nice new house. It's find his shoes. Yeah. Cheer up, said George, and he took off one of his shiny shoes. It was giving me blisters anyway, he said. As the mouse and her babies scrambled inside, the shoe made the perfect home for them. Thank you, they squeaked. George had to hop along the road, but he didn't but he didn't mind. As he hopped, he sang to himself, My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. But look me up and down, I'm the smartest giant in town. The thousand all the days. Let's see what's gonna happen next. George came to a campsite. Beside a tent stood a fox. Who was crying? What's the matter? Asked George. Oh, he's crying. Aww. It's my sleeping bag, said the fox. I dropped it in a puddle. I wish I had a worn, dry sleeping bag. So let's see what happens. Cheer up, said George, and he took off one of his socks with diamonds up the side. It was tickling my toes anyway, he said. As the fox snuggled into it, it made a very fine sleeping bag. Thank you, said the fox. George hopped on singing to himself, My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as I sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of my shoe is a bed for a fox. One of my socks is a bed for a fox. But look me up and down. I'm the smartest giant in town. Yep, I said all the days. <laughs> George came to his big squeaky bog. Beside the bog stood a dog who was howling. What's the matter? asked George. It's this box, said the dog. I need to get across, but I keep getting stuck in the mud. I wish there was a safe, dry path. 
cheer up, said George, and he took off his smart new belt. It was squashing my tummy anyway, he said, as he laid it down over the bog. It made an excellent pat. Thank you, said the dog. Yeah. The wind started to blow, but George didn't mind. He hopped on singing to himself. My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat for a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of my socks is a bed for a fox. My belt helped a dog who was crossing a bog, but... My trousers are falling down. I'm the coldest giant in town. Suddenly, George felt sad and shivery and not at all smart. He stood on one foot and thought, I have to go back to the shop to buy more clothes. He decided. He turned around and hopped all the way back to the shop. But when he got there, it was closed. Oh no, George cried. He sank down onto the doorstep and a tear ran down his nose. He felt as sad as all the animals he met on his way home. Then out of the corner of his eye, he saw a bag with something familiar poking out of the top. George took a closer look. My gown, he yelled. My dear old gown and sandals. George put them on. They felt wonderfully comfortable. I'm the coziest giant in town, he cried, and he danced back home along the road. Outside his door stood all the animals he had helped. They were carrying an enormous present. Come on, George, open it, they said. George unite, untied the ribbon. Inside was a beautiful golden paper crown and a card. Look inside the card, George, said the animals. George put the crown on his head and opened the card. Let's see what it said. Inside it said, you gave your scarf to a cold giraffe. Your, shirt, your shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. Your shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of your socks is a bed for a fox. Your belt helped a dog who was crossing a bog. So here is a very fine crown to go with the sandals and gown of the kindest giant in town.